Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now today, I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VII, the first of the Tudor monarchs. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 25th of June, 1503, the nearly 12-year-old Henry, Prince of Wales, future King Henry VIII, got betrothed to 17-year-old Catherine of Aragon at the Bishop of Salisbury's Palace in Fleet Street, London. Henry was the eldest surviving son of King Henry VII and the late Queen Elizabeth of York, and Catherine of Aragon was the daughter of Isabella I of Castile and Ferdinand II of Aragon, and the widow of Henry's elder brother Arthur, who'd died in April 1502, just six months into their marriage. According to the marriage treaty, which had been signed on the 23rd of June 1503, the couple would marry when Henry shall have completed the 14th year of his age, i.e. when he turned 14 on the 28th of June 1505, and only after a papal dispensation had been issued and the second instalment of Catherine's dowry, which amounted to 100,000 crowns, had been paid. A dispensation was needed because of the impediment of affinity with Catherine having been married to Henry's brother. Although Catherine later claimed that her marriage to Arthur had not been consummated, the treaty signed in 1503 stated that a dispensation was needed because her marriage with Prince Arthur was solemnised according to the rites of the Catholic Church and afterwards consummated. I'll give you a link to read the full terms of the treaty in the calendar of state papers, Spain. You'll find that link in the description for the video. Although Henry and Catherine did indeed marry, it wasn't until the 11th of June 1509. Henry actually renounced his betrothal to Catherine of Aragon on the 27th of June 1505, claiming that it had been contracted without his consent. That was the day before the marriage was due to be solemnised, and I'll give you a link to my video on it so you can find out why and what happened. It wasn't the only time he rejected Catherine. He went on to have doubts about the validity of their marriage, courted Anne Boleyn, and eventually had his marriage to Catherine annulled in 1533, after his marriage to Anne. Poor Catherine spent her final years banished from court and separated from her beloved daughter Mary, dying in January 1536. Her story is a sad one. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 25th of June 1533, Mary Tudor, former Queen of France, wife of Charles Brandon, Duke of Suffolk, and sister of King Henry VIII, died at her home in Suffolk. She was just 37 years old. You can find out more about Mary's ill health, her death and funeral in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll see you very soon. Take care.